Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezak at CM Trading. Today is July 21st, 2017, and today is Friday morning. So looking at the economic events of the day, we've got two things coming out of Canada. Okay, the Canadian dollar has a CPI number, core price index. That's a inflationary number that's coming out, and then also a core retail sales number that's coming out. And let's see what's been happening in the markets as well as the Canadian dollar. So we're looking here at the Euro USD. Breaking out even higher, respecting, really respecting this uh, channel that we discussed yesterday. Uh, we've set up this um, trend line. As you can see, we're heading out higher. Just beautiful, just n almost no place to really catch it and then, you know, really get into it. So we're breaking out above. This is finally a breakout. If you look at the monthly chart here, this is finally a breakout that we've had. Okay, and we discussed this the other day. Uh, where we finally are breaking out from this resistance that we've had at this level, 114.36-ish level. So we've cleared that way, which is really awesome for the Euro USD to correct itself to 120-ish level. Um, this is my target for the end of the year. I'd like to see it, you know, coming to 120-ish level. We have a uh, we have a support here, which is ultimately subsequent resistance. So I believe we'll hit 120-ish level before the end of the year. We're only about 400 pips away from it. And just think about it. We've gone up over 1,200 pips over the past month and a half. So that's a major, major correction for the Euro USD. Remember, we traded as far as 150-ish, okay, in 2006, 2007, uh, and as high as 138 before our correctional move uh, in 2014. So, you know, we still have an upwards momentum to this, and I believe we can continue. Just have to buy the pullbacks and really enter it. But, um, you know, there's a little bit of, there's very little room for us to say where's the next um, where's the next resistance? So, you know, again, I believe we'll go up to 120-ish level, uh, but, you know, just be careful as you're chasing this up higher because it can correct itself and we can find ourselves trading in a new range between 114.36-ish level as your support level and, you know, anything higher than that. So just keep an eye on this as well. Looking at the Aussie USD, still very strong, but retracing here a little bit, as you can see, We've finally topped it at 179.69-ish uh, level, um, and we finally are selling off a little bit, catching up to the 30-day level. So, um, you know, it's it's also hard here to really say, okay, well, you know, we're going to come in to, um, you know, to this support line. It's very uncharted territory here. So, you know, relatively in the larger sense of things. So it's it's really hard to really gauge here how far we'll correct ourselves. So if you're not in the position, you know, wait until you see some sort of opportunity where we see that we're consolidating in order to get in either to, to the upside or maybe a correctional move to the downside. Gold just still perking out higher a little bit, now challenging its 1246 resistance level. Okay. Um, our next resistance is 1250-ish level. Um, so, you know, it's it's been a wacky situation for gold, right? We rallied in May, we sold off in June, and somewhere here in mid-July, we're still in the middle of it. So, you know, like I said, I believe that we'll be trading between this 1215-ish uh, level and 1293-ish level, and we're doing that, okay? Uh, almost right in the middle of that right now. Looking at the JSC, okay, this is the Johannesburg Stock Exchange, like a rocket ship, okay, trading at 48,150 uh, and closing in at this resistance level 48,419. Maybe a good time to actually get into this short, okay, as we as this 48,419 is a multi-year resistance, as you can see here. We've had resistance here, one, two, three, okay, and now we're hitting it again. All right, what I don't like about this is the fact that it's such a big bar up, uh, but, you know, if we do not retrace ourselves, we do not, you know, then you should definitely cut your losses quick, but might be a good position to actually short this right here. So keep an eye on this as this unfolds. Looking at the Dow Jones, just retracing a little bit yesterday. You know, 60-point retracement is not really a retracement, right? So, you know, in the grand scheme of the things, we discussed this last night at length about how strong the Dow is and how strong some of the stocks that are um, supporting the Dow even higher um, is is just continuing. So, 
I don't see a tremendous, you know, something of a correctional move and that's imminent, but just realize that we're at top levels here. So if there is, you know, a panic sell, then it can generate some momentum and we could find ourselves at 21,200 ish level all of a sudden, right? So just keep an eye on that and just be careful uh, when you're trading these levels. Looking at the USD CAD, now the CAD has gotten much stronger as we can see here for over the past month. Um, we're trading at 125. So with the news coming out today, just keep an eye on this. We are at support level here. So just you know keep that in mind as we may just bounce off this level here. Um, and you know the, the, it, to, to say that it's it's worthy to say that the Canadian dollar is getting stronger because of its economy and not because of its exposure to the oil. So you know as you can see here, you know you see that things are correctionally um, you know making their uh, adjustments to, you know, getting back into levels that are more historically um, fair or par to the Canadian dollar. This is Afraid Raise. I could see I'm trading. I want to wish you guys a great weekend. Thank you.